Hi, Sirius Rus here, back on our Ordinal Market videos, episode 62, and I've done a little bit of Omega Challenge grinding off camera. It's just boring and repetitive to just do this on camera, so that's why I did it off camera. It's not, nothing really major came out of it. I mean, this is now up to 4.59, and this is now up to two completions, but yeah, not, nothing really big came out of it. I also did 1 plus 8 a little bit, or 1 plus 2. Um, I mean, none of them are really doing much, so now it's time to actually go into a real challenge. So I've actually taken a look at these incrementing upgrades, and this these are the only ones I need for this challenge. I might have already done this, but whatever. I'm at singularity level one. Um, I can just I can go down to base four, base three, and get. Um, again, I only use 60 decrementing for some reason. I definitely, oh, yeah, of course, it's booster upgrades. I always forget that. Yay. Go back, go back in the challenge. One, eight, and then go get booster upgrades first. I have way more boosters than before, but it doesn't really gonna mean much. I don't think I need that one. Um, so, yeah, just get this and and then get the strategic thing here. So, get this. I don't think I need anything else. So now, um, of course, I just need to um, mark up and get to base 3. And, yeah, E84 decremeni, or E84, which is a bit more than I had before. Like, it's actually, it's probably about 100-something times more. It's probably almost all due to this doubling being better. I could also try to just go into challenge 9 with this. I actually will do that after a little bit of grinding in this challenge. It's probably going to definitely be enough to get a few more singular levels. Yeah, I'm at 234 now. And I could try to get one more. I also kind of want this EE87 upgrade. And I'm already over halfway there, so there's not much reason why I don't, I won't do that. Remember, this doubler upgrade's really uh, times 4.6. So you're just going to see how much faster this this goes when I get this. So this actually could be enough to try to get one more singularity level. So you can see it's just, it's, it's a lot faster. It's almost like this, it's almost like there's no order of magnitude change. Like, that's how powerful it is. So I should be able to, yeah, there's the last singularity level I'll get here. Now I'll exit, I'll exit the Omega challenge. I'll go into challenge 9. I don't think I've done this since I upped this at least from like 4.3. So it's going to be pretty good if I can. Well, okay, first need to do, you know, the regular factor boost grinding. Um, of course, I need to get the singularity functions. This is this is where I actually need the singularity effect is raised to the 1.4. And now I'm getting a lot more factor boost per second somehow. Previously it was a lot less, but now I might it might have been this build. I'm not sure. I'm guessing I'm only getting more singularity levels just because um, of the completions of challenge eight. But I, anyway, yeah, it's just pretty nice to have that. But I'm gonna go back into challenge nine. Um, I I. No, I don't think I can. I should grind factor boosts in challenge nine. Like I don't. I mean, I could try. To, I could if I wanted. I could just get this. I could try to go as high as possible here. Well, actually, I'll just go as high as possible normally to get the increment. I don't know what that flash was, but it was okay. Anyway, it's enough to get. Let's see. What is this? One hundred eighty plus sixty. That's two forty nine. That's actually kind of crazy. And if I can get the right singularity levels, I can probably get even higher. There's another weird flash. Why am I flashing like this? I, I don't know what's happening. I This is just happening in this episode. I don't get it. But anyway, I'm just going to... I'm going to get this going. Actually, E250 is another one of these upgrades. This is now... To, this actually does have scientific notation now. So this is probably enough to... Let's see. What is it? 254. I could try to also get incrementing even a little higher than this. Like it's al there's almost inflation. I feel like I've heard there's there's incrementing inflation once I get incrementing verse, 
but I feel like I'm starting to see where people are coming from when they say incrementing inflation, because the thing is that, like, each singularity level is an additional 40% boost to, like, 30 to 40% boost to incrementing, and, like, this is every five order of magnitudes, and this is, like, three singularity levels, plus this upgrade's a lot more powerful. So, I'm actually really starting to see where people are coming from. I can also just check out what ordinals we can reach. Um, we can actually even see what happens after this. Um, I don't. I have no idea what this is, what what's even happening here. Um, wh what is it even doing? That makes no sense. But yeah, the, none of these ordinals make sense. Also, isn't two fifty four the original singularity cap? I I feel like there is something to do with that. With um, with singularity two fifty four being kind of broken, or maybe or somewhere around that. I know it was less than 255, but over 250. So, yeah. Any, anyway, it's, I'm not even in Omega Challenge. What am I doing? I'm just in the regular challenge. So now I'm just going to probably do another round of the usual um, Omega Challenge grinding. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back after maybe 12 hours or so, and I've grinded enough of, of the decrementing to get enough singularity levels to get this 264. And not only that, I can also get um, a ton of olive power here. And if I even just put half of that into... Actually, I may need a little more than half if I want two singularity levels. So I'm just, I, guess, I guess I'll just put all of it in because if I do that, that gives me one. And then you can see how... This is actually going to be extremely close, but I think I will make it. Is It's actually... It may... Okay, boom. I'm right there. Yeah, I was at, it's it's quite close. I only had about that much to spare, which isn't even that much. But it's it's two extra singularity levels. It's pretty nice. And I'm at 266. And people say that this is the point where you can actually do Omega Challenge 6. So that's what I will do. Omega Challenge 6, easy to reach the back when Howard Ordinal, cannot buy functions. I'm stuck at singularity 1, and I'm getting 1.9, actually 8 E83 incrementing per second. And also, I actually did take a look at this reward, and it's raised base incrementing cap to the one, to, yeah, essentially, I thought it was just going to be the number of completions of this. So, yeah, this is, this is pretty useful. I'm not going to be able to get on many completions of this challenge, but even if I can get raised to the 1.01 power, that'll essentially the multiply the exponent by 1.01 and right now the exponent of incrementing is about like at least the highest increment you've gotten is like 250 that's two and a half orders of magnitude of incrementing and I mean in challenges it'll be a little bit weaker like this will be 1.4 orders of magnitude that's if I even get to the necessary completion so I think what I should do here is I'm gonna grind um, very far into this challenge because I'm yeah I'm, I'm, I'm really gonna want as much of this as possible I want as many orders of magnitude of single of not singularity incrementing as possible so I can actually I've heard there's an inflation error coming up I don't really see where I mean I kind of kind of see where it's happening maybe and it'll be because of this challenge so yes yeah, see another bit Okay, I'm back about one day later, and this is almost up to 1.03. That's going to be really good, because this is going to, essentially, at least at, at E250 increment, it's going to give me seven additional orders of magnitude of incrementy, which is kind of big, because that's going to get me one of these upgrades, it's going to get me some of these, it's also going to help all the Omega challenges. I mean, maybe it's not that big, but it's definitely something, I feel like this is a good amount of completions, Okay, the, I have to get rid of this bug first. So I think what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to go for just incrementy. So what I'll do, I'll get this. I don't need anything other than this build. And then just gain as many factor boosts per second as possible here. I can actually gain 1.7 trillion factor boosts per second. Actually, even 1.8 trillion. So that's considerably faster than before. It would still take a long time to get to the... Hundreds of quadrillions, though, so I'm not really gonna 
go for that. Instead, I will go for challenge nine. And this is where I think it's gonna the effect is gonna be huge. I am going to be able to get just a lot of incrementing. Actually, I don't need to lower the singularity. I, I just need to well first get this. Um, first, just get to the back when Howard ordinal, or even less than back when Howard, just epsilon naught, and then just do the usual um, get as much incrementing per second as possible. So this is about e two seventy, actually even higher than that, e two seventy five, and you can just see sing max singularity now is two eighty eight. So that's that's way higher than my two sixty six I had before. So you can just see how much more powerful that is. That's, that's I've heard that at around 300, there's an inflation. I have no idea what that's actually gonna gonna mean for me. Like I, I mean, I it's gonna be inflation, but I'm not quite at it yet. Maybe what I should do, I should just go into all of the Omega challenges to just see how how much how many more completions I'm gonna get. I'm looking at my increment right now, and I think I want to push to E280 here. Um, at E279, that's gonna, I'm gonna quadruple incrementing gain, or actually almost quintuple it. Plus, I get this. That's probably actually one one more singularity level. And now I'm going to be able to get this upgrade. That's gonna be probably another singular, at least one. I'd say at least two singularity levels. So let's see. This is gonna be one. What is that? That's like that's probably two. So now I'm actually up to wow 301. I was at like 294 before. That was way more than than just a few. So, wow. 300. I now have a singularity of over 300. Inflation error could be nearing. I'm just going to I'm going to enter some omega challenges now. So, this is going to be pretty exciting. I I actually the the actual doing of the omega challenges is going to be pretty boring because it's just the same thing over and over again. I'll just be back when I've completed all of them. Okay, so I have done all the Omega challenges except 1 plus 8 because I'm guessing that's going to be the overpowered one. Like, I have gotten. Like, in every Omega challenge, I was getting at least 15 additional orders of magnitude of incrementing. And sometimes more like 20 or even 25. This went from like 4.59 to 5.09. That's a whole additional half, uh, half the original multiplier uh, for each doubling. And actually, I calculated. At the normal incrementy amount, or like in normal runs, I would actually this would be about a five thousand times multiplier to incrementy. That's about the square root of the multiplier I got from Omega Challenge Six. That's how overpowered all this is. And I am going to go into Omega Challenge One plus Eight and see how overpowered that's going to be with like I don't know. This is like forty additional singularity levels higher than what I the highest I had before. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to leave this for next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.